is there a team in better form in, in the Prem than Arsenal right now? You got to say. No, they're playing hot football. They're playing Holy some great God. football. They're playing some city football. They're playing city ball. You're right. It con- makes uh, conceding- sense when they sign city, pl- like all of city's players. Conceding two goals. So, But I wouldn't say goal concession is a problem for them because they're coming off a clean sheet in week one where they looked fantastic. That goal with Saliba was unfortunate. Yeah, true. Was very Ramsdale's got to be, I think, a factor in that, too. He was like Ramsdale way was, off his he, line. That was terrible goalkeeper. And I, I mean, I'll gladly take responsibility for this. I didn't think Jesus would have remotely the transition he's had. I, I was I pretty know. skeptical about that. I thought it'd maybe be, it'd take some growing pains, but he's gross. he looks like head honcho in that lineup now. I'm, it's a, a team of young guys who are good. He's very gross. I agree. <laughs> like he, he's <laughs> disgusting. Oh, is it good? Yeah, he's yeah, foul. Yeah, I was yeah, like, gross. Gross. Is a good no, thing. he's gross. Uh, he's, uh, he's literally no, Pascal I like, gross. I thought he used it in a different context. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. He wishes he was Pascal gross. Um, No, I mean, I, I've been... You, you know me, I don't like to give too much credit to Arsenal, but I've now watched both games and thought, fuck. They're, I think their link-up play has just been the best part about it. They, they're they playing like Arsenal it's of old. Quick. So quick. very quick, one touch, one twos, threw balls in, those small gaps you see. Um, they're breaking through the lines really easily, and they could have had three or four, Jesus, I think. his first goal was insane. Yeah. Oh, he could have had a hat-trick. Holy shit. Yeah. He could yeah. have had a trick multiple yeah, times. Yeah. yeah. It was At least two four, clear chances. Clear, right. clear, and there was so, probably two other well-worked ones. Credit to Jesus for sure, but credit to Arteta. We, I think each each of us probably had different points where we weren't sure how far he would go, and that's just such a hard, toxic club to sort of plant your brand of football, but... It's early in the season, but by all accounts, this is an Arsenal team that's going to be very tough to play against. If they continue to defend well and not concede goals, they're going to get a lot of chances at goal. A lot of dangerous players, young guys. So I, the sky is kind of the limit with them. I think Spurs have been that team that a lot of people will think maybe will slide into third, and you're here to hear first. Uh, Arsenal are dangerous, just probably. as clear in that conversation. And, like, yeah, we were. I was uncertain with him, but I think the biggest takeaway with it all is that it, it was happening at the end of – or I'd say it was happening in spurts in um, the back half of last season. So you can tell it's not something that's just like temporary. Like it's just a matter of being consistent. So I think that's like the biggest thing that Arsenal need to continue is continuing these performances where their their link up play is good. They look creative. They look confident defensively too. I think more clean sheets will be better for them in the long run. And that's they, the biggest they, thing, they were, right? They like, conceded so many goals yeah. last season, like in matches where they were clearly dominant. And if they can walk yeah. away with more clean sheets, I think it just boasts well for confidence and uh, continued style of play of, of being creative. Soft schedule yeah. to start yeah. the season, too. I try yeah. to map out how long I'll have to deal with yeah. the Arsenal fans being on top of the world and on top of the table. Um, no, they're the city, it's like behind City now. City, but yeah. Yeah. either way, their first five or six games are gettable. Yeah. So this could be a team that can get a nice, good start, nice little cushion. I mean... Taking 12 of 15, sure as shit ain't bad either. Even if you drop one of those matches, that's a pretty damn good start. So, yeah. And it's proof that if you give a footballing mind like Arteta time, like the value of time, giving him the time that he needed, it's just like, it's worth the wait. Like they, And they didn't even have to wait that long. They were two seasons ago, they were finished 10th or like bottom, close to bottom half. Like, and last season, he just came out, out of the woodwork and put in a hell of a season. And now yep. it's like finally all starting to click. He's getting his players in. And players that are also familiar with the system because they're coming from City, Zinchenko, Jesus. Um, Martinelli's been on fire, too. Yeah. He, that goal was, a, it was absurd. Question in the chat earlier was Martinelli or Sancho? I think we would we all say Martinelli? Yeah. I would yeah. Say in terms Martinelli. of form right now. Oh, no, form yeah. right now, yeah. But I would still say Sancho. I mean, in... Even last season, Martinelli was we can't when he got his chances. He was he played so well, mm-hmm. yeah, and he's aggressive. He comes off the bench and it, and it makes an effect. He makes a start and he makes an effect. So I think high, very highly of him as well. Could be another big big old season. <laughs>